As the search for 11-year-old Gannon's stock in Colorado Springs continues, today the search has shifted to a new surveillance video that's been released by a neighbor that could dispute his stepmother's story. I'm joined now by Denver 7's Tom Mustin. Tom, it was your excellent reporting that uncovered this video. Well, it was a lot of good people reporting on this, actually. We, we went down there yesterday in a blinding snowstorm, really not knowing what we were going to get. And so we started knocking on doors and talking to, to neighbors, and we were actually we had our interview already done with one neighbor. We were heading back and we got a tip that one of the other neighbors had some surveillance video. And so we thought, we're here, let's, let's go. So we knocked on the door and we got the person who took the video's wife. And she said, well, my, my husband works at, at Home Depot a little, while, a little ways away, but I think he'll talk to you. So we got on the phone with him, with her, we kind of FaceTimed, and he agreed to talk to us. So we drove 30 minutes away to Fountain where he was working at the Home Depot. And he's, he basically said, here's what I have, Tom, I've got, video showing the stepmother um, going into the car with the little boy at the time that she said he'd left the house. Uh, the car drives off and then I have video showing her coming back without the little boy. So that's what he said. And he said when he went and showed that video to the to the father, you know, Gannon's father, uh, that he broke down in tears and said, I knew it, I knew she was lying. So again, this is not incriminating anybody yet because the, the, the sheriff's office is really not talking a lot. but. What he said was pretty eye-opening, and, and it's really started a lot of uh, doors opening today for a lot of different stations. It raises a lot of questions sure. about the timeline that the uh, stepmother had said when he went missing. Right. Um, you know, talking with that neighbor, uh, what was his reaction like? Why was he even, you know, searching through his surveillance video? Well, he said there, there was just something about it. He said he was watching the coverage, the local Colorado Springs coverage. He said there was something about it that didn't add up because he knows the little boy. He said the day that he disappeared, he saw Gannon playing with his sister outside. He said hi to him, and he said it just didn't add up, and he's, he he was home from work. He said, you know, I have this surveillance video. I think it was pointing right there. Let me look at it. So he went to the time that she said that he'd, he'd gone to the friend's house, rewound it, saw that getting in a car, and then he rewound it back to, you know, when she came back. And he said, in between, we never saw the little boy anywhere. So he said, I don't know what this means, if anything, but I wanted to give it to police. And as soon as he gave the video to police on Sunday, they were there Monday all day processing evidence of the crime. And that's when we got there. Wow. So, uh, What was it like walking through that neighborhood doing those door knocks? It can often be an uncomfortable thing right. to um, interrupt someone's day, especially to talk about something that is, you know, so yeah. disturbing. And Jess, you've been there. You know what it's like. I mean, also the Colorado Springs station has been covering this, you know, ad nauseum mm -hmm. for a couple of weeks, or for a week now, actually a week. And so we went down there and I didn't know if people were going to yell at us. A couple of them just said, absolutely, I don't, do not want to talk to the media. Other ones were very receptive. They said, look, I want to talk about what a great family this is and what a great little boy it is. So there were people that were willing to talk. You just had to, and it's a numbers game, as you know, as a reporter. It just the more doors you knock on, someone will talk to you. And so we got a lot of insight into this family. And um, there was some conflict, you know, apparently with the stepmother and, and the mom, too. And there's a lot of inside baseball with the family stuff. But um, we, we were just happy that the people would chat with us. And we got lucky with, uh, with uh, Roderick Drake. So. Absolutely, but also great reporting, and I'm sure you're going to be knocking on a lot more doors yes. tonight as you continue to follow this story. We want to thank you so much, Tom, and we're going to uh, continue to follow this story and hope that, hope that Gannon is found safe. Exactly.